So do you think you're breathing right? If you're hypermobile, you may be missing the most important stabilizer you can ask for, and that is biological breathing. There is a, this is definitely an overlooked connection between breathing properly and the chances of bringing stability into your body. When we study human babies, we see that the breathing they do, which is by the way, how you and I were breathing at the beginning, basically is very different from the way we breathe now. I refer to this as biological breathing. And we notice that when babies are breathing, they breathe their sides out. This allows a basically a circumferential expansion of the trunk and that allows the different sections of the body of the trunk your trunk is that part of your body that is covered by a gymnastic leotard so it allows those sections to connect with each other much better which allows you to have that foundation to work towards stabilizing your body parts using developmental exercises so when you look at a baby or like a, a toddler or an infant, you see that they kind of look rounded. That's not because they're chubby, but because their breathing apparatus is highly effective and highly optimized. So when it comes in my practice treating patients with joint hypermobility, I always start by teaching them how to breathe biologically. If you're not following my channel, this is an opportunity for you to make sure you subscribe to the channel because I, I have dedicated this channel for joint hypermobility and the things that I do with my patients in my practice. So make sure you follow me. And of course, I am on social media. You can see all that information in the description box to see where else you can find me in case you're not on YouTube all the time. But back to the breathing, if you change the way you're doing your breathing now and bring it closer to the way it was before, which is how we authentically are to breathe. So the way we're breathing is an alteration to something that was perfect and we can bring it back. It's not going to be easy, but it's definitely 100% possible. In fact, that's the first thing that I do with my patients when they, I first start their treatment for their joint hypermobility. Bendy individuals struggle with stability, as you know, as a result of their connective tissue disorder. So when the ligaments and the soft connective tissue is soft and lax, you don't have as much stability. We want to be able to use as many good things as we have that are going to allow us to stabilize our joints better and our body better because that will impact how our day go how our if we are the number of flare-ups we're gonna have how long the flare-ups are gonna last essentially allow us to move breathing stabilizes biological breathing stabilizes the spine and pelvis in fact when you breathe biologically that inner abdominal pressure against the spine which is, this is the pelvis, so the spine is attached here. It allows the spine, so the pressure from the ab above, and this is your pelvis, this is the front, the pressure from above will be against the spine, and that pressure with the muscles in the back will allow the connection of the lumbar, lower back to the pelvis to be much more stable. So that allows your pelvis to be stable. Pelvic stability is so important because this is a foundation to the structures above. If the foundation is unstable, definitely the structures above are uh, is going to be impacted. So we want to use our biological breathing for stability of the trunk, of the spine, and of the pelvis. Once we start this by laying down on the floor, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I have talked about breathing, biological breathing, and how I present that to my bendy patients, because how things work with the bendy body is different than the normie bodies. I'm gonna make sure I put that video at the end of this 
video, but make sure you subscribe to the channel to get the benefit from what I post on a regular basis. So when it comes to practicing biological breathing, we start on the floor with, with your knees bent as the video on bendy breathing will discuss. And it's all about basically not having to fight the gravity um, um, to basically learn how to stabilize. I then proceed doing developmental exercises. These are the same exercises we all did as babies. So we, we were first born, could barely hold our head up, and somehow through a series of movements over a course of time, we are able to run and be that running toddler. Every single one of us followed the same format. It's because our brain is hardwired that way. Our body parts totally recognize the movements and it's just a perfect match. So why go reinvent the wheels? They're low impact on the joints. They are 100% effective. Look at the world. Everyone becomes a running toddler. Of course, there are exceptions of you know, conditions, medical conditions that um, interfere with that. But essentially, you get the point here. So I use developmental exercises to bring stability into the picture because developmental exercises allow the right parts, right body parts to work together to connect. It's just a roadmap of what movement has to be. It has produced for every walking human being, it 100% it produces best results in my practice and my practice deals with joint hypermobility all the time. So it's all about increasing your batting average. You start with biological breathing and then you continue with developmental exercises to essentially bring stability into the picture. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.